I would like to introduce to you retired Army Air Corps Captain Harry Shannon. Welcome, Captain. Thank you. It's nice to be here. In order to set the stage for this recounting, I'll give a brief summary of our previous program. Because the Japanese had blocked most of our supply routes in Asia, we based B-29 squadrons in India. They had to fly six round trips over the Himalayas to carry gasoline and bombs to China in order to have enough fuel to stage one bombing mission from there to Japan. The flights were perilous because of the weather, the heights, and the planes, which were new and untested with many flaws. Then it came to a halt, and the B-29ers had a new and very different job in the Mariana Islands. Harry, what was our military's overall plan for the Marianas? Well, the attack on Japan followed the battle in Europe, and I was really more involved after the European and German surrender. Then we could concentrate full forces on a attacks at Japan, hopefully without an invasion. Okay, and then why were the Marianas chosen? Well, when we first went to India and China, the Mariana Islands still belonged to Japan. In fact, we flew our first couple missions while the battles were going on in the Marianas, especially Saipan, Tinian, and Guam. So we wanted to have the Marianas because they were closer to Japan, where you had been flying long distances from India to Japan for the bombings, and we needed to be able to be closer to Japan so we could have shorter bombing missions. That's very true, and we had so many problems. In was we had wanted to destroy the aircraft, the Japanese aircraft industry mm -hmm. and their engines and uh, the right or ability to make war. Mm -hmm. When you first arrived, um, it was all sugarcane fields, was it? Uh, well, uh, and Tinian had furnished a lot of the food materials to Japan, and after they lost those Mariana Islands, then they, there were 15,000 Chamoran or Korean farm laborers, as well as, say, 20,000 Japanese soldiers, and those uh, people became helping uh, a lot of our duties around, and we had over 100,000 uh, American soldiers. Not very many nurses or, or uh, Red Cross, or rarely did we have USO shows because they had spent their time over in Europe. But it, it you was had like to, heaven. You had, it was nice, but you did have to go in and build your own living quarters, right. didn't you? Right. Well, when we moved there in April of 1945, now that's only three, four months before the win war ended, mm -hmm. we, we were ushered in and we had big tents. And golly, we thought this is pretty neat. The sugar canes going around, we could lay out our little old camp cot and raise the tent. And with your machete, you could cut a little sugar cane, you know, and do it. Well, then the next morning, somebody said, you know, they shot two Jap guys that were sneaking through the sugar cane over to the mess hall to steal garbage. And, hey, we went out the next morning. Within a few minutes, we had all that sugar cane cut down because all we could think about was, you know, maybe the, the Jap shoulder. 